What is up everyone? Welcome to another video of Dragon's Universe Lost Dragon Ball. You see the update on screen. They did add an assist gacha and also will be adding Xeno Goku to the summons. So when you go into the summons on November 1st, you should have a chance of getting Xeno Goku shards. Um, I will just be farming those up if we do get them to get the Xeno Goku to 6 star. Um, obviously in the future they will be adding his divine domain. But this is the assist gacha. You can get shards of the assist soul for kale now currently we do not have kale but i believe if you do get the assist souls for her you still cannot use that because you have to have the character obviously leveled up to level 74 and also orange now i'm just going to open a couple things in my bag uh because i haven't done that in a while and i have a lot of things saved up but um we have close to 10k stones like i said i am saving up for an anniversary event uh, right here, I'm going to pick the Vegeta shards just because I do want to farm up more of the Vegeta and also Goku to use for our assist souls. Obviously, they do work really well together. I was possibly thinking of also using Android 16 when we get to like level 93 for that third character slot. And what Android 16 will do, obviously, he is not leveled up to orange at all. We haven't put that much investment into him just because he is an S character. So um, I stopped doing that very early in this um, videos of this game. But basically what his assist soul does, it will reduce the attack, uh, I think in a column of two warriors by 10%, which is really helpful. And also as you rank it up, I believe it increases the parry rate for defense warriors or your frontline heroes. I could be mistaken on that, uh, definitely check that out, but I definitely know he reduces the attack of two warriors by 10%, which is really helpful and uh, keeping your characters alive on the field so now in the next day i will be upgrading this vegeta to level 74 to unlock his assist soul but i do need to get more of the actual assist soul shards for him which in, you can attain in the cross war now i do have around i want to say i believe it's 10 assist soul shards but once we get 50 we'll be able to combine that and then obviously use vegeta and the goku together now i do want to get the soul of uh, power pole right here for the Goku. I don't know if that takes into account for Goku's attack when it goes for the assist soul or it's literally just the base stats of what it says in the assist soul um, what's it called? Uh, little page that pops up. But basically I'm just going to try and maximize the attack of the Goku's weapon. Just the attack weapon. Now I do want to star up hits gear right here. We did have enough of those gear awakenings to get it. I can also save up that for the future and when we get more of Hit's Divine Domain. And p potentially, which will happen in the future, they'll have Hit as an assist soul and then by then we'll have him in that lineup. Um, I assume we'll have better characters by then being SSS and SSS Plus. So we'll be able to throw Hit in as an assist character and who knows what they have in store for this game. But right now we're going into the exchange. I'm going to exchange for a Jirin uh, shard right here, still getting him to try and be level seven star because we did recently get him to six star and i've still been using these universal shards for the broly and uh yeah so that's what we're doing there now going into the summon you'll see on november 1st like i was saying they will be adding xeno goku to the summonable characters which is pretty cool i think they kind of needed to do that i feel like a lot of people were not summoning he'll be added to the defense uh category because he is a defense type character and you see the characters right here they have for the attack they do have rebrand but we do not have her but um i believe she is an ss character and a few people are saying she is a she's a good character to have she um i believe she boosts attack i could be mistaken i don't have her yet but um yeah definitely if we do get her i'll check her out now i noticed we were losing a lot in the arena so i'm gonna switch hit and broly um for the time being the reason i'm doing that is because broly can come back to life with a 30% chance. So if I have Gate Zumasu and potentially Broly coming back to life and then Jiren holding his own in that front row, I think it'd be better for Hit to then lower the attack and defense of other warriors. Right there, I did just want to upgrade Goku's assist soul to try and do more damage and uh, help us out in, in the battles. Now these Kid Goku or Kid Buu shards I've been farming up, I've been just putting into the Born again. I do want to see what the max level this goes up to. I have a feeling that it doesn't stop. So I'm going to keep trying upgrading that until it doesn't let me anymore. Uh, but basically that's what we're doing. Now my goal is to also upgrade the Broly and also the Gata Zimasu um, higher levels. So then we can rank up them even more and get it to finally you know, orange 4 and then finally red. 
So that is the goal, just throwing in any esoterica's we have into this Jirin. He is a beast. We did finally get his skills to level 84 uh, of that six star damage reduction skill. So it was really helpful. Now I just want to say thank you again to someone that pointed out in the fishery right here that we can unlock this Eastern rainforest. So I'm going to buy that right now. And basically what you can do, there's a fish here that you can redeem for those blue shards in the, in the shop. And basically you can equip a certain book to an assist soul character that enhances um, their effectiveness uh, in a way. So I believe a certain book can only go on a certain character, like for example, the Goku is an attack type character, so you can only equip a, a book that has a, an attack type character or, or if it's for all characters. So uh, for example, there's one I believe that increases the crit rate of the attack type character doing the assist soul. So that's something we can look into as we get some Kale Shards right there, which is pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, that's where we're gonna look into. We're gonna exchange those fish uh, potentially throughout the week and then have enough to farm up and exchange for the Goku Technique book, I believe they call them. So we'll do that. You see what my uh, workers are farming up right now. We have a good amount of fishing poles that we can uh, have no problem uh, getting the, uh, the rewards. Now, in terms of the fishing, they only allow five per day, or at least it increases five per day at a maximum of 30. So I believe someone asked that in the last video. I just wanted to clarify that. Now you see right here in the resource center, those little blue things right there are like the technique books. So certain characters can only have the defense one, certain can have the attack, and certain can have the skill. Then there are technique books that can be used by all of them. So you see right there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, hope you all enjoyed. Just wanted to do a little quick update video. And uh, that's pretty much it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Drop a comment on what you guys want to see next. And as always, I'm out. Later.